Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Messy Vegan Mama. It is Saturday at like 7 a.m. Um, I just had a Whole Foods delivery delivered and I like kind of forgot that I ordered this stuff last night because I was like, you know what? I can't do grocery shopping tomorrow. So I'm like, I just got out of bed. So I'm not dressed really, I'm in my pajamas and I'm not awake, but I wanted to just let you know that um, I will still be going to Trader Joe's. I will check it out probably tomorrow just to see if they have any new items because every time I go there, they don't have anything new. But if they do, I want to, you know, scout those out and not have to actually do grocery shopping at the same time. So you'll still see that video probably midweek. Um, and it'll probably be like a vlog. I'll do some other things in that video as well. But you will still get a Trader Joe's video. I know you guys love them. So I wanted to let you know that. And I will show this to you. And I hope you like it. If you do, hit the thumbs up. I'm uh, loving how many people are subscribing. It's really helping me out a lot. Once it gets uh, to like a thousand, I think we'll have like a little party on here. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna look like, but we'll have a virtual party because that's gonna be a milestone for me. I did get to 100 and then 200. I'm trying to get them up there. And yeah, I think there's gonna be more to come once I hit 1,000. 1,000 is gonna be like the mark for me where I start to do a lot more with this channel. So please, if you're watching, hit the subscribe button. Um, and that's about it. Uh, see you midweek for maybe like a uh, Trader Joe's new items uh, sort of haul vlog. I don't know. It's too early for me. <laughs> All right, let's get right into this. So I kind of did like a weird haul. So I will explain to you what I plan on making with all of this stuff because I don't really feel like cooking this week. Um, I did get some strawberries for my son. These look pretty good. Uh, they are organic. So I got that for like a little snack. He'll eat them so fast. <laughs> and then I wanted blueberries um, for just like snacks and for cereal bowls. So I actually got two of these and they're actually pretty big. I don't, I don't think I realized how big they were going to be. But yeah, I got these. So I got two of those and that'll be a yummy snack for my son as well. Um, then I grabbed hummus just as a snack. Um, another thing I don't have to like, you know, cook or anything. And then let's get into some of the dinners for the week because like I said, I don't plan on really cooking. So I made it easy on myself. I got this um, Kite Hill spinach ravioli, which my son loves. Um, and I got two of those. So just to make it easier on us to have some quick dinners. And I will say Trader Joe's has a vegan ravioli now. And it's, you know, it's similar to this, but it, it's made with cashews, which doesn't really work well with my stomach. I do eat cashews, but I just can't eat a lot of them. So my son also doesn't like that one. So he loves this one. So that's a winner. So I got that for dinner because I know he'll eat it. And of course I had to get some sauce. So I just got the 365 organic marinara sauce, which is cheap and yummy. Um, and then another dinner idea I have is kind of like an oldie for us. <laughs> so my son used to eat this Tasty Bite Bombay potatoes back when he was like two years old, he used to eat this. And it does have a little spice to it. So I was kind of shocked that he used to eat it at that age, but he did. And we haven't had this in a very long time. Um, the brand, like I said, is Tasty Bite. They have a bunch of different things. Um, and some of them are vegan, some of them are not. The Bombay potatoes is vegan and he loves this. So I got that and it's literally like, look, when I said I don't want to cook, <laughs> 60 seconds in the microwave. I actually typically use, uh, make this on the stove top though, but yeah. And to go with that, I got some basmati rice. Um, this is also like a quick cook one. Yeah, 90 seconds. Um, uh, Tasty Bite actually has basmati rice, but they were all out. So I just grabbed the Whole Foods brand 365. So that'll be a very quick um, dinner. 
so that's great. Then my third dinner idea of the week. Oh, I should mention when I make the Bombay potatoes and rice, I always add uh, peas. So I had to grab another bag of peas because we were all out from last week. Yeah, we love peas. We bought them last week and they're all gone. But I did buy them again, um, 365 brand, and that's super cheap. They're in the frozen section, and I don't even really need to cook them or anything. I just throw them right on there after that's heated up, and it's like super delicious because they have like a little crunch to it. So I got that for that as a dinner. And um, my third dinner idea is not as healthy as the others, I would say, but well, it kind of is. Um, I got this crispy chicken from Gardein, and I'm going to make that with some french fries. But my idea is to kind of make this Gardein crispy chicken into a barbecue chicken. Now, if you buy Gardein and you bought it for a long time, they used to have this um, these barbecue wings, and I, for the life of me, cannot find them. I don't know if they even make them anymore. Um, if you see them in your area, please comment below and tell me because I'm wondering if they even make them. But I'm not finding them anywhere in the area that I live. I'm in New England and I just can't find them. So I'm going to try to recreate them. So instead of using the mandarin orange sauce packet that's in here, I plan on using this 365 brand barbecue sauce, which is delicious and super cheap. And it's vegan, which is just awesome. So I'm gonna actually make that into like a barbecue chicken. And then the organic crinkle fries that I got from Whole Foods, I'm gonna make into cheese fries. So I got this Violife um, Colby Jack shreds, which I've never tried the Colby Jack shreds from Violife, but Violife is delicious. So I think that'll be perfect with that. And then I got some asparagus spears from the frozen section just because everything keeps going bad really quickly. So I don't know if my fridge is doing that or what, but I live in an apartment, so I have no say in that. Um, so I did just get the frozen ones, which are actually just as good. And that'll be a yummy addition to that meal. So that is like my third dinner idea for the week. And I think we can kind of manage with those three dinners. So with leftovers and stuff. Um, so let's move on to breakfast. For breakfast, I did get my son this maple and brown sugar oatmeal. These instant oatmeal, oatmeal packets that he loves. Because that way I don't really have to cook. It's super easy. Just add some hot water or milk. Um, so that's for him. And then I got this Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla for me because um, the only cereal I really have is the one from Trader Joe's, that almond butter one, and it's just not healthy at all. Like I said, it's more of a dessert. This one kind of seems a little bit healthier. Um, the sugar is not as bad. Where is it? Yeah, it's only got nine grams of sugar. It's really not as bad. So, and I love everything by Nature's Path. Um, so I'm sure I'll love this. Vanilla is delicious. I think I'm gonna love it. It's got quinoa, flax, buckwheat, amaranth, uh, corn, rice. Yeah, and it's vegan. So that's gonna be my breakfast. And the last thing I got was some bananas for that cereal bowl. That's gonna be my breakfast of the week, probably with some blueberries and bananas. So I had to get that. Uh, they're not really ripe yet, but I'm sure they will be pretty soon. So that'll be perfect. And I did get these um, chips <laughs> for our picnic type thing that we're gonna do uh, probably every day this week. So I don't have to cook. I got veggie straws. I'm hoping my son tries these. He used to love these when he was younger. Um, I love them, so I got them for myself. These are the 365 brand. These veggie straws are delicious, and they are vegan. It says it on here. Yep, they are totally vegan. I think there is some that aren't vegan, but those are vegan. And I got these ripple potato chips for him, because if he doesn't like the veggie straws, I'm just gonna give him some of those. Um, I actually thought that I only ordered one, but apparently I ordered two. So that's what we got. 
And then for lunches, I plan on being out and about this whole week. It's kind of like our vacation week, so we're gonna be doing lots of fun things. So we need like stuff that we can just bring with us. Um, I got this organic creamy peanut butter um, and I'm gonna make sandwiches with that using this fig spread. Um, if you watched my last video, I bought some figs um, planning to make a fig spread recipe. And what happened is, so the figs were in the fridge for like three days, right? And they were all moldy the day that I went to go make it. So that did not happen. I'd love to try it again someday, but this week I don't wanna do any cooking. So I wanted to just have my own fig spread. So I did get this, look how good that looks. It looks so yummy. What's in it? Is it just figs? Organic figs, cane sugar, pectin, circuit. Okay, not bad. Um, it's vegan. Um, the lactic acid, I believe it. I believe that's vegan. I, re I remember I looked this up to make sure it was vegan. So it is vegan. And I'm going to use that spread with the peanut butter. And then I grabbed some of my favorite bread ever. Um, now, this is something that I didn't realize they even still had there because every time I actually go to Whole Foods, I can't find it. I look in the bread aisle and I don't find it. So this is Seven Hills. I've actually seen it at Target recently. I don't know what it is about this bread, but I love this bread. This one is Sprouted Power and it says Squirrely on it. And this, this is the exact one that I always used to get at Whole Foods, like in the bread aisle. Now, I ordered this online so it came um early this morning and this bread is actually frozen so i'm wondering if that's where i need to look i need to look in the frozen section to find it but i love this bread i don't know why but it's just so good um it is made with whole wheat so it's not gluten free but i love this bread so i got that to have with our sandwiches and that's gonna be delicious and i also grabbed some pickles to go with our sandwiches and you know what there's one more thing i think i threw it into the fridge um i got these baby carrots as like a nice little snack to go on our picnics because we're basically going to do picnics with all of that and i got this giant bag of carrots I'm trying to eat healthy but simple foods this week so that's that and okay, so we only have a few things left. I really didn't get that much. Okay, so I also, with that in mind of going on our little trips and hikes and such, grabbed some Bobo's oat bars. I wish I had gotten more. Um, I ordered four, but I only got three. So I'm guessing they were out of one of them. But this one's chocolate chip. These are like big. They're pretty big and they're just like a super fulfilling snack. Like if you're out on a hike and you could just throw these in your pocketbook, your backpack and take them with you. I got two chocolate chip ones and I got my favorite one. I was trying to get two of them. Um, these chocolate almond butter stuffed ones. These are a huge hit with me. I love these. They have a bunch of different stuffed ones. These are the only ones I saw that they had available. And I guess they only had one left because I ordered two, but I only got one. But those are going to be amazing for a little hike. And, oh, I also grabbed this yogurt for my son as like a snack. Um, a snack or a breakfast, whatever he wants it for. But he loves this so delicious strawberry yogurt. Um, I don't usually get it at Whole Foods. It's a lot more expensive there. I typically go to... Um, where do I go? Target and get the four pack for him because it's a lot cheaper in the four pack and they sell a four pack there. Whereas Whole Foods only sells the individual ones with this um, strawberry flavor. So I did get three of those. It would have been a lot cheaper at Target, but that's okay. And the last thing I have to show you is something I've never tried before. Um, Ripple is the brand name and it's this chocolate milk but it's um it's a shelf stable one i have tried ripple like the refrigerated chocolate milk 
and I love it and so does my son. It's like the best chocolate milk I've ever had that's vegan. It literally just tastes so much like what I remember from childhood and having a yummy chocolate milk. So I get it as a treat now and then. Um, they did not have the one in the refrigerator section, but I was kind of craving it. Um, but I grabbed this shelf stable one and looking at the back kind of makes me like happy I got it. Like there's a lot of vitamins in there and I'm curious to see if my son will like it because I always feel like I'm trying to get him to eat as healthy as possible and get as much nutrition as possible and that's hard to do sometimes so I'm wondering if he likes these maybe I'll get these a lot more so I'll let you know I'll let you know if he likes them in my next review but that's all I got for today I mean I I have a lot of stuff still from the last few weeks and I don't really want to cook so this is it this is all I got and I will have another video for you um this week um i'm not sure i think i wanted to do cooking in my kitchen but you know what maybe i'll show you how i make this barbecue dinner and we'll just hang out in the kitchen but yeah that's it for this week um for my grocery haul and i hope you liked it if you do hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel the uh subscribe subscription numbers have gone up a lot and i'm loving it i need it to go up a lot more so please help me out and hit that subscribe button see you next week or see you midweek i would keep forgetting see you midweek bye my friends